A lot of women go to pieces when they miscarry after IVF and of course it's completely heartbreaking. Here you are counting the days that you know it's such and such is my due date and this time I'll have a baby in my hands. You're excited to be pregnant. Everyone's happy for you. You go with the ultrasounds. Everything's going well and then one fine day the doctor tells you look I'm sorry there's a problem. The baby's not growing properly or the heartbeat has vanished or you start bleeding and you end up miscarrying and it's very hard to deal with this. As it is IVF is an emotional roller coaster ride. And then when you get pregnant and you're on top of the world, to then miscarry is terrible. And the biggest problem is patients blame themselves for a miscarriage. Oh, I didn't rest enough. I took on too much stress. I shouldn't have gone to work. And not only do they blame themselves, the worst thing is everyone else does. Oh, you should have done this. You could have done that. I told you to rest at home. And this is why it happened. And the reality is there's nothing which you can do which can cause a miscarriage. And there's nothing which you can do which can reduce a miscarriage. And this is true whether you got pregnant in your bedroom or whether you did it after IVF. So fighting with your husband or lifting heavy weights doesn't cause a miscarriage. So please don't let anyone blame you. And for heaven's sake, please don't blame yourself. The commonest reason for a miscarriage is a genetic problem in an embryo. And IVF doesn't reduce that risk. The big problem, of course, is that older women are at increased risk for miscarrying. And a lot of older women will require IVF because they're infertile. So there appears to be an increased risk, but it's not because of the IVF. It's because of the increased background risk of the increased age. IVF does not increase the risk of miscarriage.